All right, y'all. So, hey, I just finished, well, not just, just, but I wish, fin I just finished washing my hair. Um, so, my hair feels very, very clean. It looks a lot cleaner to me anyway. Um, when my hair is dirty, it kind of swells. And when I wash it, it allows it to, like, get all that gunk out of there and shrink up. So, I washed my hair with. Um, because I realize I keep telling y'all I'm washing my hair, but I'm not telling y'all what I'm washing with. Um, I have since changed to Shea Moisture's Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthen, Strengthen, Grow, and Restore Shampoo with Shea Butter and Apple Cider Vinegar. I love uh, castor oil. I love Shea Butter. And I love apple cider vinegar. So when I saw this, I was like, I'm definitely going to try it. Um, my mother and I have been using it on both of our locks. Um... And we're here. We love it. Um, we also bought the conditioner with it. This lathers really, really well. Of course, it does because it has the apple cider vinegar in it. Um, but like I said, it's mean it would lather well. All right. So only thing I've done, I don't know if I was recording or not. The only thing I've done is gone through and just um, applied some castor oil to my roots. Um, again, making sure that I'm not like suffocating my hair with the castor oil, but just making sure that my scalp is receiving. Some love. I'm just making sure that I definitely massage that in because one time I did some that I oiled my scalp and did not massage it in and I was getting heat killing for like a week like a week or eight weeks. It's worth a shower of blow type stuff. So my, my roots. My scalp looks so much better. Feels so much better. Alright. So, the only thing that I am going to do after this point is, y'all know I told you I made some really good shea butter this last time. I'm going to take a little bit of shea butter. About that much. Make sure I melt it completely. Make sure I melt it completely in my hands. Now keep in mind, I do not have any buildup, so my routine that I use, it does not um, clog my scalp or anything like that, or get caught in my locks. So that's pretty much all the shea butter I'm gonna use. So um, one of my students. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm just that kind of person. If you got locks, I'm going to be all in your roots, honey. Smelling them. Smelling what your hair smell like. What you washing with. All of that jazz, right? So his mom used just black gel. And I was like, she used black gel? And he was like, yeah. I was like, you lying. He was like, nah. I was like, you for real? He was like, yeah. <laughs> um, so I'm going to use not black gel, but 100% aloe vera gel. Because I'm not stupid. Um, and his, ha his locks did have build up. Um, so, I'm going to use my pipe cleaner curls, I'm going to fold them in half, put my finger in one end, and just twist like so. Okay. So, I found, um, y'all saw last week I picked up some new pipe cleaner curls, I didn't use them, I never used them, so I'm going to use all the black ones. Um, so because, I don't really have any interest in going anywhere, um, tomorrow, but just in case I do, I don't want to have to take them out, I'm going to have the black, um, in my hair. But I don't think I have enough. So, maybe we'll use the black and the blue. Black and blue. What movie that's from? I got the look up, yes! Um... So just take them, just take them and make sure that they're even. And just, I don't know, sweetie, I need to finish my hair for a while. Ugh. Six, seven, eight hours, <laughs> six, seven hours, because I'm legit sick of that. Um, so I woke up and I was like, oh, child, I have to wash this up to my head. Alright, so I'm going to do this. Well, there's only a couple more, and then I'll probably end up speeding it up. Since I am working on iMovie, y'all, somebody just told me, oh, iMovie, see, iMovie works correctly. iMovie is working perfectly fine. They have switched up some things. There's an update, so I'm not entirely sure how to work with the update, but it's going to be great. It's going to be great. So... I only have about maybe 15 to 20 um, black pipe cleaners, and I don't think that'll be enough. Let's see how it sounds. I think it sounds like. Alright, so we have all of the black pipe cleaners that we have is literally not a lot. Um, 
So, like I said, I probably wouldn't have used some different colors, but I definitely wouldn't have the black in the front. Um. Always checking for lint. A lint Nazi around this thing. Okay. Um. It's amazing that people think that just because you have locks, you don't wash your hair. Like, boo, I wash my hair all the motherfucking time. Don't pull it. <laughs> um, so what I'm going to do now, I can't show you guys me twisting already, so I have to come back and insert that other part of the video. So when I get to the front is when I come to you guys and show you, but my hair feels so soft. Like, my roots feel so soft. They are no longer crunchy. Um, it, it feels like my loose natural hair now it feels very, very soft. Um, but just to show you what it looks like prior to me twisting. Alright, so I have a pretty decent amount of new growth, um, that I have to twist up. I am going to use my comb, but like I said, I'll come back when um when I get to the front so y'all can see it. All right, so bye bye, girl. When I say <laughs> it's literally like 4:23 in the morning, I swear I started at like 12. I don't know what time I started. It had to be 12 something, but um, I'm just about finished. So this is what we have thus far. So I hope I haven't left any of them. So I still have a bit of Afro Puff <laughs> up here at the roots. So I am going to twist all of that hair back into the lock. But I did stop and eat though. I did stop and eat. But that didn't take that long. So on my cap, I have just some castor oil and some Jamaican black castor oil and some aloe vera gel. So I am going, look at all of that hair, y'all. That's a lot of hair in it. That's not in a lock. Um, so y'all have actually have seen me do this part. Um, same way, I'm just going to make sure that my parts are... Pretty clean. Comb through it. Make sure I don't have any kinks or any naps. Alright. Then I take some castor oil and some um, aloe vera gel on my finger together. Y'all have seen this part. Alright. So, because it's the front, I take the brush. And then I begin to twist. Now, because I have all of that extra hair, when I have hair like that, I kind of two strand twist the hair in. Um, so, that's a lot of hair. Um, roll it. I wish I would have did that to the back, but that's okay. So I just take a clip and hold that until I am ready. So just making sure that it's wet at the roots. Since I have to comb through it right now, so I'm combing through that roots, making sure that my part is pretty decent. Um, well, I'm trying to do this 
so excited to be finished. And putting it with the clip. All right, last look. So exciting! We're so excited, we bitch. <laughs> uh oh, I don't know if it's taking me longer this time because I haven't repussed it in a while. Whether I really didn't feel like doing it or what, but I feel like this took me forever, you guys. Alright, so castor oil, aloe vera. All right, so hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. We definitely did not spend all of this time retwisting for me to take down my pipe cleaner curl and the hair to be untwisted. So let's just make sure that we have these locks the way that they need to be. Okay, now let's take Thing. So then I have my last little piece from the rest of my pipe cleaner curl. So I just try to make it as tight as possible. Roll it back around. And then I just fold that piece over. Alright. In a perfect world, I would sit under the dryer. I ain't about to sit under the dry though. <laughs> I'm tired of this shit, girl. I'm about to go get in the bed. Y'all see my neck all oil and greasy. I'm about to go get in this bed. Um, yeah. Alright, so that is how I pipe clean a curl and do my retwist. Alright, girl. I'll come to you and show you the results in a couple days. Love you. Bye. Mwah.